Hi, today's Pixelmator tip is on rotating an image. Here we have a photo of a well-known female actress, and we're going to look at the different ways in which we can rotate this image. The first thing I want you to take note of is that we have an image size here of 743 by 600 pixels. The proper way to rotate an image is to select image, rotate canvas, and then choose one of the rotations in the selection. We're going to choose rotate right. Now at first appearance it looks as though we may have cropped our image, but we haven't. Let's go ahead and expand our window by dragging it at the corner and we can see we still have our full image. We can go ahead and refit the window size to the image by clicking this green button up here in the upper left hand corner. Okay, that's one way to rotate. Let's look at some other ways to actually rotate an image. Under the edit menu we also find a rotate selection. So let's go ahead and see what the difference is. Let's choose rotate 90 degrees right under the edit menu. Now that we've done our rotation, it appears again that we've actually cropped our image. Let's go ahead and expand our window to see. And what we've done here is that we've rotated the image, but we have not rotated the actual canvas. And Pixelmator is telling us that our canvas size is still 743 by 600 pixels. Now there is a solution to this, but I'll show you that here in a minute. So let's go ahead and back up. We'll refit the window. And let's see our third option. And a third option comes under the gear icon from the move tool. So up here, if we select the action menu or the gear icon, we again have another rotation selection. And let's rotate 90 degrees right from that gear icon. And again, we've rotated the image, but the canvas itself has stayed in place. And this is evident by the canvas size up here being 743 by 600 pixels. I told you earlier that we can actually fix this problem. So let's do that. Under image, if we go to reveal canvas, then this will show us the crop part of the image. From here, you would have to select the crop tool and crop out this photograph to restore it to its original size. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.